The Philadelphia Eagles had to cut some players to get to the 53-man roster for the NFL season, and some of them are a bit questionable. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Philly Talking to MK, it's your boy MK. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So when I upload and I go live, you'll be instantly notified. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram down below in the description. If you're not following me on Twitter, you're really missing out and add me on Snapchat at Toxy18 for all behind the YouTube scenes. The Philadelphia Eagles made some cuts today. It was the last day for cuts before 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the Philadelphia Eagles made some questionable cuts. Now I know we're not going to like every single cut that they had or they did. But it's a business at the end of the day. And what they saw, it just what they saw in the practice field. What they saw during preseason, training camp and all that. So what I don't understand, why would you cut Jordan Howard? Like this guy's the best power back you've got. Right? He's the best blocking running back you've got. And we guys all saw him during that preseason game that blocked to save Joe Flacco to Quest Watkins and all that. You guys saw that happening. And it's just like Jordan Howard, he's one of the guys that you wouldn't see get cut. But they have really high hopes on Kenny Gainwell, Boston Scott, and Miles Sanders. I mean, I thought Boston Scott was going to get cut and keep Jordan Howard for the power and rush game, but I guess they want Boston Scott for the New York killer. I mean, you saw what he did against the Jets. You saw what he does against the Giants. So maybe it is that, but who knows, but Jordan Howard is gone. Maybe he'll be back on a practice squad. Who knows? And Travis Fogel. Travis Fulgham, it just hurts. This one hurts because I thought that he would be the best wide receiver to have a breakout year because we all know his last season he had four games, almost a 1,000 yards, and I'm telling you guys, if he had more playing time, he would have passed that 1,000-yard mark. He would have, without a doubt. He was a diamond in the rough. But... You have J.J. Arcega Whiteside making team over him. Now, I made a video a while back that the Eagles should cut, trade J.J. Arcega Whiteside. So, he's on the team. He's got to prove himself. I know he's not going to play on the field as much as being the fifth wide receiver option, but it is what it is. He's got to prove himself. No umbrella is going to bail you out. This is the NFL season. When you come in, you better work hard and do all that stuff. You gotta prove yourself to me. And the last preseason game, he had a nice touchdown pass, so maybe that's what got him into the team, into the roster. And John Hightower, people know that he was losing passion for the game, that he didn't have interest in NFL anymore. That's understandable. I get that. But to have JJ over him, it's just it's blasphemy. Is really blasphemy to let that happen. And Richard Rogers, actually, him getting cut. I thought that the Eagles would treat Jack Ertz and then have got it at one, Richard Rogers at two, but no, he's gone. So we have Goddard, we have Ertz, we have Stahl, and we have Tyree Jackson, who's injured. So I'm like, okay, okay, so. We just got to see what those tight ends can bring to the table. We just got to see that. So let me know in the comment section below what other cuts did you have a problem with in the Eagles and what they have done. Let me know in the comment section below, all right? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, add me on Snapchat at Coxie18 for all behind the YouTube scenes. And yeah, MK out. Let's go, birds.